So it looks like the Air Force is going to be using AI to uh, replace some pilots on US warplanes. So instead of uh, uh, the military personnel actually flying out and dropping bombs on brown people, they're just going to have an AI computer program do it. I mean, make it a whole lot easier. Just program brown people and send the planes off. This is a rare look at the future of the U.S. Air Force in combat. It's called VISTA, an unmanned fighter jet piloted by artificial intelligence. Flying head-to-head -head in a dogfight with a manned F-16, even outperforming the human pilot. Defense officials say the U.S. is the only military in the world with this technology, successfully flying a jet with artificial intelligence. And this is the first time cameras have been allowed to see it. Up till now, there has not been a pathway for machine learning agents to control uh, the you know, flight critical systems of an aircraft. On Thursday, we can spend trillions of dollars making a robotic plane to uh, go commit mass murder, yet the U.S. government can't spend that amount of money uh, helping solve poverty and homelessness and lack of medical care and stuff in the United States. I wonder why. The Air Force Secretary made an unannounced trip to Edwards Air Force Base. Pretty as it's going to be. Suiting up and going for a ride in a mock dogfight, flying nearly the speed of sound, separated by just 1,000 feet from the manned fighter jet. He says the technology still needs work. We still got a ways to go with it, but making good progress. But some test pilots aren't sure. This artificial intelligence is robot, and they're they're so new and we don't really understand fully how they work so you don't trust the aircraft to be flown by ai at this point point. Uh and what happens when these planes get hacked and used against the united states that would be something else i mean it's not the uh, military has like impenetrable uh, cyber security they get hacked quite often and then you have uh, mil military personnel that steals information from the military and that could easily be used to help hack these airplanes? Uh, no, not really. Like drones, they could fly ahead of manned aircraft during combat, conducting strikes too dangerous for human pilots. But unlike drones, the computer will be in charge, not an... Right, it's too dangerous for uh, U.S fighter jets to go into a war zone where they're mostly killing people with weapons can't fight against airplanes that's hilarious uh, a lot of the unmanned drone strikes have been against you know innocent civilians people having weddings or funerals or just carrying cameras or driving a car or whatever operator thousands of miles away and even though humans will still be involved in making key decisions this raises serious questions is that a possibility, really, this kind of technology going rogue? I think it's too early to say it is or it isn't. Do you ever see a, a point of fully autonomous weapons? So U.S. Air Force aircraft that are fully autonomous weapons. We're not going to unleash killer robots on the battlefield to kill anything they want. That's not going to happen. We're going to make sure that we comply with the laws of war. Kendall says the future... Right, the United States follows the rules of war. That's why they killed millions of civilians invading Afghanistan lives that they created just to eventually admit that there were never any WMDs in Afghanistan or Iraq. Future is not far away. AI could be in cockpits in the next few years. Computers flying missions once considered too complicated for anything but the human mind. 